I purchased this diya is just lighting up near me. You can see. Oh, so pretty! Wow. No, oh, nice. I loved it. You know, I purchased it yesterday while returning from class. I bought it. Okay. I really liked it. You know, this is the only thing I have done for Diwali this year. Oh, wait. I have confronted her at least once. That was so lame of her. You should have confronted her at least once. Ah, uh, do you think so? Did I? That whenever you are hurt or somebody disappoints you in any way, which you intentionally never felt that you have done anything wrong to them, mm-hmm. but they deliberately try poking you and disrespecting you or doing any any. Is there any Inter- such a vibe all across? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, all the houses in my area are decorated. Even we have decorated. So yeah. Vibes are amazing. Yeah. Do you celebrate holidays? Holidays for five days now. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm getting bored sitting at home. I don't like holidays. My God, you're the first person who is saying that I don't like holidays. Okay, but holidays, right? You should enjoy. So, what are your plans? I actually feel bored when I am at home. But honestly, this holiday, I am going to utilize in studying. Oh I my. have purchased some books. and i okay. have to make time to study for 5 days at least usually i take time but for 5 days i have so i won't waste it and i'm not going anywhere not visiting any relative uh, not going anywhere away so i'll be using in i recently purchased a book i was actually reading and uh, the moment i came i realized that yeah uh, i have a session at 9 sharp i booked it earlier so i just came here to attend so is it academic books you're going to read or academic something books. else Academic. Oh my God. I, I mean, God. as I'm teaching, um, so you know, a teacher always needs to evolve and stay updated with more information, more knowledge. And as I am teaching every day, I see occupied so much, and I don't get time to study and become master myself. So for mm-hmm. these five days, as I have ample of time, so I felt that why not purchase an author book and read it mm-hmm. more. So I purchased it. Okay, and that so is also an escape from doing household work. I would say. Okay, so you don't like doing all the household chores, right? I mean, I feel like, uh, what is this going on? Why am I doing all this? I feel like waste completely mm-hmm. when I am doing. No, I'm not interested in doing household chores. I mean, really, I am not interested. Although I have to, because there is no other alternative. Sometimes, if your mom is sick and if she is not well and if she is not at residence at the mm-hmm. moment so you eventually have to do it yes or else she does not so there is no burden and even she doesn't force me for this she says that until you get married enjoy your life it's me <laughs> doing everything after that you come okay. oh. yeah yeah same here you know as a kid i would not let my mother do anything when i was i think 5 6 years old i would say let me do let me do but now i feel so lazy doing all the household work right i, I don't do even my mother she is really nice so yeah i am always doing my work only okay in fact uh, okay. she is saying that until i am there with you until you marry i'll be taking care of everything you enjoy your mm-hmm. life by then she is like that mm-hmm. oh my god she is so sweet ha huh? <laughs> Why mothers are so sweet, huh? They understand us so well. I mean, they are more of reality check in our house, or mm-hmm. they always know and they forecast future so much that they want their daughters to be living like a princess at the moment in mm-hmm. their house. Mm-hmm. I feel every mother does that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, correct. Okay, okay. So, what special are you going to do on this Diwali? Studying is there, but apart from studying, also there should be something, right? I honestly don't have anything this year. Oh nothing, God. honestly, nothing. You know, even now I'm at home and people are celebrating Diwali, and I'm like, is it Diwali really? I, I feel you like dressing up, but you said that now you don't want. To. Dressing up means, uh, you know, the harsh reality is we are comfortable only when we are wearing the normal. Yes. House. And Fair if I'm not going out, and if I'm not meeting anybody, what's the point in wearing something new and staying uncomfortable mm-hmm. in your own house entire day? Money. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, on what days you get excited when you feel like okay, do you get excited on your birthdays if not on Diwali? Uh, 
sorry but no i do not get even excited for my birthday you know i have a youtube channel and on that i have posted my birthday hmm. small moment and that birthday if you go and check no ma'am i am only alone sitting with one friend who had bought me a cake and i don't have anybody i don't have anybody i mean i have not never posted my birthday or so anywhere that i'm born on this day that is nothing so okay. i do not get wishes i do not call any friend i don't have a circle of friends Okay, but I feel you like your own company, and you're most comfortable with yourself. Yeah, I'm actually habituated to that. More mm-hmm. habituated. I will love sitting alone rather than being with people those who annoy me mm-hmm. and those who are fishy, cunning. Mm-hmm. And I feel that I am kind. The way I treat them, I expect everybody to do that to me, but I don't get that in return. And I easily get no. emotional. I get so emotional, so easily hurt it that I feel mm-hmm. okay. Fine. I don't want to continue talking to this person. I felt like okay. he wouldn't be, or she wouldn't be like this. Now she did this to me. No, no, let it be. I don't want to be with her. So you easily cut yourself off from people, ah, but cut, cut for emotional off. people, yeah. it's What's difficult, it? right? Until they they poke you so much, you won't do it, right? I mean, many a times, you know, some things there are people those who say something to me, and recently this happened. Recently, in one of my class. i teach and i am not interested in anybody's life i do not mm-hmm. bother about people what is going on in their personal life what are they doing neither do i talk nor do i ask i only go i do my work and i return back home i am always in my own life and in my own company but a lady i don't know what she knew about me what she came to know i never spoke to her i have not even mm-hmm. seen her Hmm. and that lady had problem with me for i don't know for what reason also who i have never seen why would i say that she has some problem with me what problem she has i have no idea and hmm. she was gossiping something really wrong about me to somebody oh. else and okay. not just in front of one person in front of many people she was saying that hmm. and few of them came and told this to me and even then i should have uh, went there and asked her but i felt hmm. that there is no point in justifying your character your behavior your kindness to anybody if they are correct, that correct. way will remain that way so there is no point in justifying you and your identity so i felt that let mm-hmm. her say i mean it's her life she is wasting her time gossiping about me i have much work to do i go my yeah, way and i do it why to get stressed about the thinking but i do get stressed sometimes when it is okay. too much And then I tell my mom that this and this happened. She told me like this and that. Then my mom mm. always says, "There's no use of fighting and going mm. and discussing this." Then yes, correct. If you have a bigger aim, you better work for yourself and do what is better for you. Do not poke people. Correct. Let them correct. do. They. But you should have confronted her at least once. That was so lame of her. She is gossiping about you for no reason, right? You should have confronted her at least once. Uh, do you so, think so? Did I? Yeah, but people don't understand that. That I know, right? They, uh, they have said one mentality. I think that tells that I should go and say to her that day and meet her once. But my mama told that there is no point. Don't go. Let it be. Let it be. You know, when you go and talk to her, she'll raise her voice and she'll uh, mm-hmm. say that she's correct and maybe she doesn't yeah, like yeah. you or whatever she does not like yeah, about yeah. you. Yeah. You cannot make her or please her like you any any way. So don't go. She said like that. She said that's fine. Let her say. I mean, those people who were hearing, there is always a, what do we say? A reputation you built wherever you are visiting, wherever you are going, whoever you are talking to and meeting. And if your reputation is well known by people, they know who you are. They are not going to easily believe or mistrust you the moment somebody else says something. Very. And even I had heard the fact that, uh, uh, what was it? I don't remember actually. You know, I was just about to say okay. that and I forgot. Okay. Any word? Okay. No issues. Okay. But you know, one thing I've noticed that good people generally they don't do anything, but they end up having so many unwanted enemies. They don't do anything, but still, out of the blue, these people come right. You don't do anything, but still, you have to go through. I am not sure on why does this happen. I mean, some people, you know, do not like you for your looks. Some people do not like you for the way you talk. Some people do not like you by your behavior, and some people will not like you because others are liking you. 
so and they are not giving much importance to them correct even correct, 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 correct you know there are various correct. reasons why people are getting jealous and becoming enemy for no reason because instead hmm. of competing and pulling anybody's leg you could at least have the courtesy hmm. to build yourself better correct, than that correct. person try becoming better than that person why pulling him down i mean if you cannot raise yourself up hmm. why are you underestimating that effort the other person is putting for his or his his or her own party hmm. i mean people want to destroy that honestly they, they want to they destroy. want they want to acknowledge but deep down there in their heart even they know that they are jealous or they don't like somebody progressing right okay like that we okay we can do anything right okay what about okay, you okay. what about you what about what me kind of like, are you? what makes you excited what what is your character by the way what is my character oh my god i cannot define my character in just two three lines but even i am a very wholesome person very moody person sometimes i like something if i see something new then i feel like trying it out if i see a new person that i feel like talking so every day i get up with a new emotion with new energy every day i feel i'm a different person so yeah we all are the same very kind hearted i i, I, I have kind, always yeah. felt this you feel like a sweet lady who is very kind and anybody anybody can easily be your friend anybody yes. i mean the way you talk now the way you greet people in the beginning it feels like a welcoming nature and i like that very much yeah 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 that is there a lot of people have told this thing to me and because of my voice and i have a very baby face so people easily tend to be friends with me so yeah that is there yeah. okay and um, so you just have one or two friends right or uh, those are recently made actually <laughs> oh my recently. god new friends actually i had one whom i have lost forever he is no more <laughs> so he was the only one who was everything to me back then but after mm-hmm. him i felt that let it be i'll uh, survive alone there is no need of any mm-hmm. friend or anything but honestly you do need friend you cannot survive alone there are times when you need somebody to talk to you so i think my mother helps me in that case a lot when mm-hmm. i am stressed or whatever problem is there with me i just mm-hmm. sit with him and honestly it just fades away in a minute Absolutely. so i have friend in the form of my mother so basically oh, never yes. required anybody and it's so difficult to trust people these days i mean you share your things with somebody and you don't know really they are this much caring what they show mm-hmm. and Absolutely. i feel it takes time to build that trust also to be open yes. to somebody so much yes 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 you should be cautious yeah who you are trust trusting exactly. and right. you shouldn't be okay. an open book to anybody people start yes. making fun taking advantage of it all the time absolutely absolutely yeah. very true. oh my god I lost the track of time, but it was really, really amazing talking to you. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Let me know if you have any questions, anything which you want to ask. Yeah, I want to ask that whenever you are hurt or somebody disappoints you in any way, which you intentionally never felt that you have done anything wrong to them, mm-hmm. but they deliberately try poking you and disrespecting you or doing any any sort of harm to you, how do you react? I don't know. A lot of people are hurting me these days, and I I feel that uh, you know sometimes I don't know, but I I just suffer. I just feel, and I can't do anything about it. But after some time, I think that okay, this person is okay. I myself try to motivate myself and come out of it, but I also take time. Just like normal person, or normal person only I do. Like if you are hurt, you will take your time. You will ponder upon that thing only over and over again. But after two three days, you'll. get back to normal right same with me also i i don't do anything special or anything extraordinary <laughs> okay you suffer it in simple words you suffer you think about it you rethink about it and over that period of time the pain actually starts vanishing it starts fading naturally you feel that yes 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 absolutely absolutely because it's very difficult for me to move on so sometimes you know people say okay just be positive forget forget how to forget you need time right you need time to digest that thing that yeah something has happened so yeah, that's okay all right uh, yeah. keep on practicing i would just say one line yeah, that yeah. keep on practicing because in line we have a feedback part i would just tell you that 
really speak well and uh, keep on practicing and happy diwali happy diwali to you too ma'am bye bye good night thank you